Hey guys, it's the Polka Daughter and today I'm going to show you how I made this long summer dress. It's going to be a really simple tutorial but if you have any question, any doubt, just leave it in the comment section and I will try to help you. So if you want to make your own summer dress, just watch the video until the end. So for this video you're going to need 1.60 per 145 meters of fabric, 1 per 130 meters of lining, measuring tape, pins, thread, a safety pin, a marker, scissors and a sewing machine. Since I don't have enough space, I'm going to show you the steps in a piece of paper. Wrap your fabric and fold it in half, leaving the bigger side up. And then fold it again. First step is making the sleeves. Mark about 19 centimeters in height and 15 in length. Just join the two points with a slightly curved line. And then cut it out. It doesn't have to be really curved. Now make a straight cut in one of the pieces, it's going to be the back. Now cut the laterals so you can have the two separate parts, back and front. Now you can use one of these pieces to cut your lining. Then just put your lining on top of the pieces and sew it. First with a straight stitch and then with a zigzag. But if you're not using lining, you'll need to hem the sleeves. Just double fold and straight stitch. Just leave the bottom hemming for the end. If you want to have some lateral openings, don't sew there, just hem them. Double fold and straight stitch. If you're not using lining, you'll need to zigzag the neck part and also the back opening so it keep it from shredding. Just fold it once and sew with straight stitch. Now, just put one part on top of the other and sew the sides until the lateral openings with your chosen height straight stitch and then a zigzag but if you're using lining you don't have to use the zigzag after now just fold the neck part leaving some space for a strap to pass through and then sew with a straight stitch it's gonna look more or less like this For the next strap, just make a spaghetti or a braid strap. You can see this tutorial on how to make spaghetti straps. Then you'll just have to pass it through and it's done. And here we go with the fabric. These measurements can be slightly different in every case. After marking the two points, connect them with a slightly curved line and cut it out. If you make it too curvy, it's going to be harder to sew after. Don't worry if it looks too big. In the end, it's gonna be perfect. Now cut the back opening at about 15 centimeters. Cut only one piece of the fabric, not both, so you can have different parts, back and front.
Now just sew the lining all around the fabric in the front and in the back part. Use a straight stitch and then a zigzag. But if you're not using the lining, zigzag the extremities, fold once and straight stitch it, both in the neck and in the back part. Don't forget to separate the front from the back part. It should look like this after sewing the lining. It's easier if you use the lining because it will give you a more professional look. The lining is really optional, I just use it because this fabric was really sheer. So I just cut the lining slightly above my knees and then hemmed it with a double fold and a straight stitch. For the lateral openings, just double fold them and sew with a straight stitch. Now just turn your two parts to the right side. After this, put the front part on top of the back, lining facing out. Now you're going to sew the laterals. Just pin it and use a straight stitch. If you're using the lining, you don't have to use a zigzag stitch after. Now you can choose the height of the lateral openings. Just sew until there. Fold the neck and back part and sew with a straight stitch. Leave about 2 cm so the braid can pass through. You can also hem the bottom already. Just double fold and straight stitch. If you think your dress is going to be too loose, just sew the laterals to make it less. This is completely optional. Mark about 2 cm and sew straight from there. Now the final step. Grab 3 pieces of fabric leftovers with like 1 meter and make a braid. If you want, you can also just use a spaghetti strap. Now grab the safety pin and pass the braid through the neck and back part. Start in the middle of the back opening and go from there. Tie a knot on both extremities of the braid. And it's done! And that's it guys, I told you it was really simple, so I hope all of you were able to make it and I hope you really enjoyed this video. And see you in the next one, bye!